What you're hearing isn't an editing trick, even though that's very easy to do. It's a bug in Super Mario Bros. 2 that lets you play the main theme from Super Mario Bros. 1 in the game. This music appears in Super Mario Bros. 2 when you enter subspace, an area of the game you access by throwing a potion and entering the door that it makes, where you can get coins, mushrooms, and if you're lucky, a warp zone. The music only exists in that area. So how did I get it to play here? Let me show you. It works in almost any area of the game. The only thing you need to have is five cherries and a potion. In some places, you'll likely have to carry the potion around to make it work. But one of the easiest places to do this trick is in stage 1-3. First, get your four cherries and get your potion ready. When you get the fifth cherry, a star man appears. Throw the potion down, get the star man, and go in the door. When you go in the door, the music will change, even though you're still invincible. Let the invincibility almost run out. Go through the door again, while still invincible, and when the invincibility runs out, the music will switch over to the subspace music, which is the same theme as Super Mario Bros. 1. There are a few things to notice here. First, the music runs longer than the time that you are in subspace. That means part of this music will never be heard and trapped in the game forever until you do this trick. The other thing is that in Super Mario Bros. 2, when you pause the game, the bass line of the music plays while the rest is muted. But in subspace, you can't pause the game. That means there's yet another version of the music hiding out that you may have never heard before. The music will play as long as you're in that area of the stage. If you enter a new area by a vine or door, it's gone. Same if you lose a life. Okay, so that's a cool trick, but wait, there are multiple versions of Super Mario Bros. 2 out there. So do they work on all of them? Let's take a look. Let's try Doki Doki Panic. You know, the game that was used as a promotional tie-in for the Yume Kojo Festival, a technology expo sponsored by Fuji TV, and was later reworked to be the western version of Super Mario Bros. 2. Well, it works in this game, but the subspace music is not the same. I think it's a bit irritating after a few seconds anyway. Also, in Doki Doki Panic, there's no music when you pause after doing this trick. Then there's Super Mario USA, which was released in Japan in 1992. It's essentially the same game, so the trick works here as well. I also tried this on Virtual Console, and it works too. So what about Super Mario All-Stars? Well, I'm sorry to say it doesn't work. The music doesn't change over when you enter subspace. Same thing goes for Super Mario Advance. To recap, any stage in Super Mario Bros. 2 will work, as long as you can get a Star Man and a Potion together in the same place. You need the original cartridge of Super Mario Bros. 2, Super Mario USA, or the disc of Doki Doki Panic. Or you can do it on Virtual Console. All the other versions don't work. It's a cool trick, so pass it on to your friends. Let's end this video with a chance to hear the whole music, uninterrupted and without any gameplay noise. Feel free to record it and use it as a ringtone. First, Doki Doki Panic. Now here's Super Mario Bros. 2.
the music from Super Mario Bros. 2 paused. 